Okay, this is another wow video. It's part of a series of nine videos for this one here. Um, it's about UFO design ideas <coughs> in this video. So it's part 284C3MK and it's line 22F1FA 19C3MK hyperbola wave curvature variety Valkyrie UFO 5G wow setting. Okay, I'm just trying to get this to focus here for a minute. Here, the wind howling outside. It's pretty windy out today. So there's the alien radio signal there. And August 4th, 2012 is when I was working on the data. Today's November 23rd is when I'm filming it, 2012. Okay. So center a curvature of a hyperbola. Again, we use the evolute, the envelope of the normals. And there's the graph for it. The radius of curvature is the distance between tangents on the curve and the evolute. So that's from www.geometryatlas.com. And we've got this figure here, curve I red A. November 13, 2012, my thoughts. Looking at the R1, R2, this is the base area of the UFO spaceship. Uh, where the antimatter magnets would be. Uh, several win videos show the super alloy and formulas for the core of the ship to levitate in the middle at the top of the tetragonal shape. Okay. There's another graph here, stable detonation wave propagation in rectangular cross-section curved channels. Okay, so and here's a, looks like a PDF from all these scientists here. And that's from Japan. Yeah, they're all from Japan, March 2011 from dx.doi.org. Okay. Um, the detonation propagation phenomena in curved channels were experimentally studied in order to determine the stable propagation condition. A stoichiometer, ethylene oxygen mixture, gas, and five types of rectangular cross sections curved channels with different inner radii of curvature were employed. The detonation waves propagating through the curved channels were visualized using a high speed video camera. Multi-frame short-time open shutter photography, MSOP, was developed in the present study to simultaneously observe the front shock shape of the detonation wave and the trajectories of triple points on the detonation wave. The detonation wave became more stable under the conditions of a higher filling pressure of the mixture gas and or a larger inner radius of curvature or the curved channel. Of the curved channel, sorry. The critical condition under which the propagation mode of the detonation wave transitioned from unstable to stable was having an inner radius of curvature of the curved channel, RI, equivalent to 21 to 32 times the normal detonation cell width. In the stable propagation mode, the normal detonation velocity, DN, increased with the distance from the inner wall of the curved channel and approached the velocity of the planar detonation propagating through the straight section of the curved channel, DSTR. The smallest DN was observed on the inner wall and decreased with decreasing RI. The distribution of DN on the detonation wave in the stable mode was approximately formulated. The approximated DN given by the formula agreed well with experimental results. The front shock shape of the detonation wave could be reconstructed accurately using the formula. The local curvature of detonation wave K, non dimensionalized by decreased with increasing distance from the inner wall. The largest was observed on the inner wall and increased with increasing RI, DN, okay, with increasing all these little things here. We'll just skip that. Okay, so here's a graph that I really can't see what it looks like. Anyways, outer wall, inner wall. Just showing you expansion wave. Schematic of the behavior of the detonation wave in the stable propagation mode. That's from sciencedirect.com. And this is a uh, Valkyrie cutaway. So this is some sort of new thing they're working on. Um, I forget what it is. November 13, 2012. Look at the lines 22F1FA, 19C3M to MK videos for more formulas about spheres, the core of the UFO ship, spaceship designs, and the super alloys listed to use. So I'm going to Google keywords in the data detonation wave antimatter. I will explore this in the next video. Thanks for watching.